More than 200,000 vaccines have been distributed in Kentucky to date. But even as the vaccine becomes easier to get, some people are still hesitant about getting it. LEX 18's Eleanor Buckley spoke to a community activist who was able to get the vaccine as part of Phase 1B, but says he understands why African Americans and other minority groups are conflicted. On Wednesday, community activist Divine Kurama received the COVID-19 vaccine. Yeah, no side effects or anything. But he admits he had his hesitations. It's a sentiment that's shared throughout the African-American community. If we weren't born with that distrust, um, it was inequities. It was things that, that were done to us that has led to that. So like the Tuskegee syphilis study that started in the 1930s. In this study, 600 black men were treated for syphilis. But even when penicillin became the drug of choice to treat syphilis, the subjects were never offered it or given the choice to quit the study. So because of this history, Divine Karama says we need to reevaluate our priorities. And perhaps it's just as important to increase minorities' trust in the research that went into making these vaccines as it is to actually distribute them. This is decades, um, centuries of distrust that's been sold. Um, so it's a healing process, and we have to be intentional about helping people heal instead of just forcing them to get over it and telling them what they have to do. Um, you know, no. Let's have a conversation. Um, you know, let's allow people to heal, give them an opportunity to heal. Now, I think that's real important. And I think if we do that, um, we'll have more people that'll, you know, get vaccinated and buy into the process. Ultimately, Karama decided to get the vaccine. Since he works as a substitute teacher in Fayette County, he was able to get it in phase 1B. But he encourages everyone to do their own research. You know, hopefully, you know, I'm inspiring people to, um, you know, be a part of the process and try to figure this thing out on their own and make the best of decision, the most well-informed decision. And says he will never tell people what to do with their body. But he believes this is the next step in returning life back to normal. In Lexington, Eleanor Buckley, LEX 18 News.